guys, welcome back. I thought today I'd do a product review to do a little bit of an overview and also show you this product in action. Um, so just before Christmas, we thought we'd purchase our first um, robotic vacuum cleaner. Um, so here it is here. It's just in the docking station at the moment where it lives and, and charges up. So it's the Ecovax DBot 600. I believe it's the same as the 601 model as well. Um, so yeah, we've had it for two, three weeks now. Uh, so we've had a good chance to, to use it and um, check out all the features. So first of all, I'll show you what you get when you purchase the, the 600 model, which is sort of uh, the entry level uh, Ecovax D-Bots. They do have several models above. Um, so here it is here. So it's currently switched off. So there's an on off switch on the side and I'll flip it over. So here's the underside, so you have two spinning brushes here which basically work along the edges and also flick um, dust and material into the centre and then that's picked up by the main um, rotating brush and it's also a vacuum so it's sucking as well. Um, it's got these heavy duty wheels which will go over things so it will change from hard floor to carpet and then a rotating uh, wheel at the front to change direction. So that's sort of the, un the base of, or basics of the underside. Uh, on the side you've got the power button and then around the back you've got the dust collection unit which I will quickly take out. So here it is here. So you can open that up. It's got a filter there which you can clean. Um, and that's pretty much all, and that just clips back in there. Uh, also, apart from the docking station, obviously, you get a little remote control, which can start and stop, and do a couple of other functions with the D-Bot. And then you get your manual, and you get a couple of uh, spare uh, spinning brushes which is great, a spare filter and also a cleaning tool. Okay, so that's a very quick overview of what you get. Um, now of course everyone wants to see it in action, so it's in the docking station, it's turned on and the very first basic um, function I guess you can do is just using the remote, hit the start button and the D-Bot will just back itself out of the docking station and its default um, mode is to go in a random pattern. So we just go backwards and forwards. I think there's some algorithm built in so it will cover the whole room. So you can see the brushes, you can see the brushes spinning around putting stuff into the centre and it has a soft bumper on the front and uh, sensors just to stop it crashing into things and also to allow it to change direction. So that is the basic uh, operation of the D-Bot. So it will quite happy, happily just carry on until it's finished a cleaning cycle or you can just stop it from the remote. So we'll, we'll stop it on here, and I'll show you some of the other features. Oh, I should mention, um, it will go from hard floor to carpet, no problem. So we'll put the carpet in front of it, or a mat in this case, and we'll just go straight over the top. So no problem at all with changing from one surface to another. Okay, one of the other modes, apart from the random pattern, is you can hit the S button shows up on the top there is an S and if we start up the, the D-Bot now it will go in a backwards and forwards uh, S pattern as the button icon suggests so it will hit one side come back again and just basically just go backwards and forwards which is good for a large area if you want to do that rather than using a random pattern Mm -hmm. 
So the last action you can uh, select from the remote is spot cleaning. So we'll press that little circle at the bottom. And what that does, uh, if you've got a, a heavily soiled area of hard floor or carpet, the D-Bot will basically go around in a small pattern. Um, you can also hear that the vacuum uh, power is increased, so it's sucking more dirt and dust up, and that'll go around in an ever-increasing uh, circle. So it starts in the middle like a spiral, it's getting bigger and bigger. bigger. So that's the spot cleaning function. We'll just stop that. Okay, apart from the remote, you can actually operate the D-Bot from what's called the EcoVax Home app. So you open that up and then you can connect your D-Bot to the app. It says it's online, so we will tap on there. Now this actually has another feature which unfortunately isn't available on the remote and that's called Edge. So we'll hit Edge. Hit the blue button to start it. And I think this is one of the most useful features of the D-Bot. As the name suggests, that is going to go around and follow the edge of the room. And I think it's a good idea to actually start with this first, the edge function, and then you can go to one of the S patterns or the, uh, the random pattern. So that's going to go into every crevice. And that's where the little rotating uh, brushes come in handy because that will flip stuff away from the edge and then it will get sucked up. As you can see, it's just going to follow, follow the edge there. So very useful. So yeah, I'd suggest maybe doing that first um, and then using the other pattern, like I say. You can see it will go around objects. The main things you have to watch out for as far as objects are small um, toys, little bricks, and cords, electrical cords are the other thing you have to watch out for. So yeah, that's that. We'll, we'll turn that off. Um, and the last button I haven't shown you on the remote is the home or dock button. So if we hit that, the D-Bot will find its way back to the charging dock. Can be a bit slow, it will eventually might find its way there. And then once on the dock, that will just um, go back to charge mode. Once it's fully charged up, the D bot will just um, go into standby mode. So that's what it's done there. Okay, it's just uh, one last um, sort of feature um, that you can do with your D bot is you can actually hook it up to Alexa or Google Home. In this case, I've got it hooked up to Google Home. And we've called it Dave DeBot. So uh, I'll just show you what I can do with that. So using voice commands, you can stop, start, and return the DBOT to the, the dock. So we'll start it up. OK, Google, start Dave DBOT. There we go, and then Dave, you can call it whatever you want. We'll start doing this thing, and then obviously you can stop it. Okay, Google, stop Dave DeBot. Sure, stopping Dave DeBot. Okay, Google, dock Dave DeBot. So yeah, that's just, um, if you just want to use voice commands, um, you can't use all the features like the Edge function, etc. through the Google Home uh, app or Alexa app, but, um, you know, good way to sort of start and stop. So yeah, that's basically uh, a bit of an overview and um, showing you the d in action. So we've had it, like I say, it's a real world um, review. We've had it for a few weeks. We're happy with it. Um, it'll go under a lot of couches and also beds because it's only a few centimeters. I think it's about seven, between seven and eight centimeters tall. So it will go under a lot of things. Um, but we're very happy with it. Um, 
the vacuum container will fill up fairly quickly. Maybe it's your first initial clean, but obviously the more you use the D-Bot, the less you'll have to empty that. So uh, that's it guys. If you've got any questions, um, let me know if I've missed out anything. Um, I'll try and answer any questions. Thanks for watching. I'll put links to the D-Bot and also for the Ecovacs home app as well if you're interested. And we'll catch you next time. Cheers.